Hello and welcome to our next tutorial for internet and website development. Um, in this tutorial I want to take you through the JavaScript uh, making this function work which is of course following on from our last example that we finished off in HTML. Um, so I've just got that ready to go and this function is called add numbers. The first thing I want to show you that I didn't address in the last tutorial is that um, over here on the left hand side you'll notice that on load is selected by default we just want to change that to no wrap body just make sure that that's on that's critical that we have that on so that um, uh, our code can work correctly okay so I'm just going to jump straight into this here we're, we're obviously in our JavaScript now uh, so we want to start off by writing a function so our function is of course add numbers. Um, I'm just going to write that in. Make sure you stick to the correct um, capital letters and, and exactly the same way that you've written it up here. It needs to be written down here. If there's something that is it's wrong, uh, it'll pick up on that. Even case sensitive, okay? So even like that, it won't work. Okay, of course, add number. It's not going to work. Just be aware of little things like that. Okay, so we're going to basically reference it the same way we've done here with um, the brackets. And of course, we don't have anything that we're passing. The first thing we're going to do is open our function with a curly braced bracket, curly braces. Close it with that as well. And it's a good habit to get into opening and closing your function straight away because if you start off with a function although this might seem uh, trivial if you start off with a function and you're typing away uh, and you get to the let's say you're writing a function that has 500 lines in it uh, you might have a few of these brackets um, in your code and you or you've got a, you know a number of different brackets and you're trying to find where the end bracket is and you can't and you're not sure unless you've got bracket highlighting on of course but it's just good practice to start off with um, the function like that okay so we're going to go straight ahead and write our first uh, little bit here so we want to indent now var stands for variable okay it's just short for variable we all know what a variable is so I'm just going to go ahead and um, write value 1 so that's what our variable is here. We're going to write val1. That's going to equal something here. Now I'm just going to write this out and I'll explain this in a minute. You might be thinking what the heck is pass int and I will explain it. And document get element by id. Again watching your case there and we want to get value 1 and we want to end that and value close bracket and remember always to end with a semicolon okay so what what on earth does this line mean so what we're actually doing is setting a variable called value 1 to our value from the first text box as you can see there let's not worry about passing for the moment but document dot get element by ID is just saying in our current um, website we want to actually get this element up here value 1 by its ID it's of course it's value 1 okay because that's what we identified that um, as last time so this is just a quite a, a common way of writing it and it, it's it's one of the ways that we can get um, the value of that actual text box because what we're actually saying is get that value and store it into our variable okay so we need this document dot get element by ID and get the get the value of that whatever that you know we, we're, we're identifying that as our input we want to get the value of whatever's in that text box and that's how we do it now there are many different ways we can write these sorts of things you might say th might see things like get element by uh, tag or, or get element by name. There's, there's a whole bunch of ways you can write these sorts of things, and again, it just comes down to researching and, and referencing, which we're going to actually have a look at um, 
later on in this tutorial. So, of, of course, you might have um, already thought this through, and our second variable is going to be much different. I want to make value 2, and of course, it's just changing the 2 in both those cases. All right, before we continue with our answer, I just want to explain what this pass int does. Now, if you just wrote that as document .get, get element by id value it it's not actually going to um, recognize this as an integer so pass int actually you put the brackets around what you're doing and pass int will actually say okay this is a an integer that we we need to use here because it, what it'll actually do is it'll add the two numbers side by side it'll see it as like a string instead of it actually being a proper integer. So I'll show you the result of that in a minute so it becomes more clear. Don't worry if you're not getting it at this stage. I want to add another variable in here called answer. <clears throat> so answer just simply equals document dot get element by ID and we're going to just type in whoops answer we'll end our semicolon okay so what this is doing is pretty much the same thing except we're getting our um, element by ID which is of course answer here we're referencing that and we're putting it into a variable called answer which is which is this text box in here okay so remember value one's coming out of here value two and of course answer so the last thing we need to do is we actually need to say we haven't calculated the two things together so we're taking our variable here and doing something else with it we're going to say answer dot value just like what we did here we actually just tacked value on the end of it but we've actually just set up a variable which gets the um, ID already so we're just going to say all of that dot value it's it's similar just to writing value on the end of it okay we're just going to say answer dot value equals our two variables um, added together which is just simply value 1 plus value 2 and in the semicolon there so okay so basically when we set up our values here it knows that it's actually um, passing as an integer so we're adding two integers together it's putting it in answer dot value which is of course this text box and that's it that's our function now let's just reiterate on that what, what it's going to do is once we click on this button it's going to add the numbers together obviously but it's going to call this function called add numbers it jumps down here into our JavaScript and it runs these lines now let's see what the actual result of this is don't forget to have that onto no wrap body otherwise you're going to have problems I'll run that I'm going to just do a simple calculation of 5 plus 5 I'll calculate it Okay, we've got a problem somewhere here. Just trying to figure out what the actual problem is. Okay, that worked that time. Must have been clicking the button properly. Okay, so 5 plus 5, uh, we'll just change the, res the result here just to show that it is actually working. Okay, 517. Okay, so that's actually working and it's doing what we want it to do. Um, basically we could add the two numbers into here and send it to the function and it will be expecting two numbers that's a different way to do it of course we all know that you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat um, there are many different ways you could write this I'm just using one example that I found and that I can explain clearly okay so let's now that we've done that we want to have a look at CSS later on I just want to quickly show you W3Schools. Now this is a really good resource. 
um, it's a reference that you can use and I'll just flick to it straight away w3schools.com if you want to find out and, and learn um, various ways of doing things this is a good website to come to there's of course thousands of websites out there that you can do this sort of stuff the thing I like about this is that you can actually um, you can do tutorials and then try it out yourself just as JS Fiddle uh, lets you do but this actually gives you a bit of a um, step by step uh, way through it so if we just click on for example learn CSS um, we we'll get we go straight into a tutorial and it gives us an example nice example here um, and you can click on try it yourself and there's many different examples you can you can go to click on try it yourself and it comes up with this um, type of thing so let me just um, for example you know my head one is um, down here as as, as you can see CSS example and we can actually um, change that around so I might just change that to say a, I don't know change that to a blue uh, edit and click me and immediately it changes based on what I'm doing so you can actually use this it's a pretty good uh, reference and of course it's got a whole bunch of things on um, JavaScript, CSS, HTML, and you can you can look through the many different examples that um, they give you on here. Okay, another function just being used here, and of course um, we can try that out. We can we can work with uh, many different things here. Okay, so again, just a good website just to keep coming back to um, to give you some really good information. Okay, so again, I need to find something on an array. I come in here and immediately I can start reading about what, what's an array uh, which we need for our assignment and we can start doing some um, things with, with arrays. Alright, so that's, that's pretty much... Um, it for this tutorial. Uh, we, what we saw is we can add two numbers together and we can get a result. And that's just a bit of an introduction to how a function works and we're going to have a look at how CSS works um, later down the track and then we're going to look at doing our developing our website project. So thanks for listening.